Hi, my name is Alyssa Golis, your Recreation Supervisor for Cultural Arts with Novi Parks and Recreation. I'm here today with our current artist in residence here at Villa Bar, Jeff Zischke. He's going to tell us a little bit about his time here at Villa Bar, the current piece that he's working on right behind us, and how he's enjoyed himself here. So Jeff, yes. what drew you to the artist in residency program here at Villa Bar? Well, I was here last year uh, eating tomatoes, which is one of my favorite things, Michigan tomatoes. And uh, I discovered that they had a residency here at Villa Bar. And so when I went back home, I applied for it. And then a couple months later, I was notified that I, I won it. So it was just a beautiful place and a sculpture garden. So I wanted to be part of that. Awesome. How has David's work here on the property and your time spent in his home inspired your creative process here? Uh, well, I built this piece, which was inspired by my hikes every day, but also with his, uh, you know, his aesthetic is, it's similar to mine. We have a lot of things in common. I used a lot of his tools in the shop, which is a great part of the residency. Yeah. Yep, it really is. Can you tell us about the current piece you're working on here at Villa Bar? So this is called uh, Bosque Urbain. It's the Bosque that's in an urban setting. So a bosque is like a, it's mainly in a riparian, riparian area, but it's trees that create shadow over a trail. And so I've been hiking every single day at Mayberry Park. Mm -hmm. And the trail there is like six foot wide in some parts and trees, they don't go perfectly straight. They're fallen and they're broken, but they add this great kind of uh, abstract symmetry to the whole environment. So I was inspired by that. So a bosque is made out of wood, it's trees. And so urban is urban. So the idea is that I'm creating shade, which I do a lot of that kind of thing in Arizona anyway, mm -hmm. incorporating shade in my work. So it's creating shade, dappled filtered light, creates great dynamic shadows, uh, and it's made out of wood. So that's really neat. And so then the color changed. It, it was. It was going to be, at first it was red, I painted the model red, then I painted it light blue, and uh, then I just kind of just decided to go on this color, and because this site we have that yellow piece, we have that red piece, I thought this kind of lighter, almost ultramarine blue worked really well. All right, Jeff, last question for you today. How are people able to find more about you and your work? Uh, well, I have a website jeffzischke.com. The city, I'm sure, will have some information more about me as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We're absolutely loving your new piece here at Villa Bar, and we can't wait for our guests to check it out.